for tonight. Let's begin to bless his holy name. Let's thank him for his goodness. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. He's a faithful God. He's the one that was, the one that is, the one that is to come. The captain of our warfare, the soon coming king, the I am that I am. Let's appreciate this great and mighty God tonight. Father, we exalt you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. There is none like you, immortal, invincible, the only wise God. Father, we salute you tonight. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Somebody lift your voice to God and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have been doing, for all that you have done. Father, we say thank you. And for all that you are still going to do, receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice to God and just appreciate him tonight. Say something wonderful to this great God. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for defending us. Thank you for being our rock and our defense. We say thank you. We say thank you. Our King and our Maker, we worship you tonight. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the adoration. Somebody just say thank you unto him one more time. And say, Father, you are good, you are kind. For your mercies endure it forever. Lift your voice to this almighty God and show appreciation. Appreciation is not just God's demand. It is also God's delight. If I be lifted up, I will draw men unto myself. Come on, somebody appreciate this great God tonight. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the glory. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We appreciate you for all that you are doing. Thank you for this commission. What a life mission and ministries international. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The theme of our prayer point tonight or our prayer meeting tonight, I beg your pardon, is the enemy and the avenger. The enemy and the avenger. I pray for everybody hearing my voice tonight that every enemy of your destiny, God will silence them for you. In the name of Jesus, every enemy of your destiny, God will silence them for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody contending your glory. If your amen can be loud, God will silence them in the name of Jesus. Every passing that you will not go far. I decree and declare as an apostle of the living God, let God silence them tonight in the name of Jesus. Every passing that you will not go at all or that is saying that you will go but you will not go far. If your amen can be loud, let God silence those power. Let them be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The theme, once again, is the enemy and the avenger. Every avenger of your destiny. Somebody say a loud amen to this one. Every avenger of your destiny. I pray that God will disarm them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy any avenger that has vowed to bring you pain, any avenger that has vowed to bring you down, let God disarm them tonight in the name of Jesus. Every stubborn enemy of your glory, every stubborn enemy of your destiny, let God disgrace and silence them in the name of Jesus. Let God disgrace and silence them. Now, I want you to know that there is something called the enemy and there is something also called the avenger. I pray for you once again, every legal ground that the enemy is exercising to fight your destiny, tonight by the blood of Jesus, we cancel that ground, we cancel that ground, we cancel that ground, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, we give you all the glory. As we continue in this meeting, Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. You are welcome once again in Jesus' name. The theme of tonight's meeting is the enemy and the avenger. Very quickly, Psalm 8 from verse 1 to 2. Psalm 8 from verse 1 to 2. And it has this to say, O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heaven. Hallelujah. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Two, out of the mouth of babes and suckling, as thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. That thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. 
I prophesy once again, every avenger of your destiny, God will silence them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will silence them tonight. Everything they are using as, a, as an advantage over your glory, every vantage point they are using to fight your destiny, tonight we destroy it, we destroy it, we destroy it, we destroy it. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever the enemy is using as a tool to fight your glory, tonight we destroy that tool. In the name of Jesus, somebody lift your voice to the Almighty God. Say, anyone have offended and is bent on revenge mission, oh God. God arise, intercept their plan. In the name of Jesus, anyone have offended and is bent on revenge mission. Oh God arise, intercept their plan. Intercept their plan. In the name of Jesus, anybody have offended, whether I know or I don't know. Oh God arise and intercept their plan. In the name of Jesus, every avenger of my destiny that is bent on injuring me. Oh God arise, intercept their plan. Intercept their plan. Intercept their plan. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, the Bible makes it very clear that there is something called enemy. And there is something also called avenger. Now, we are aware. Almost everybody is aware of who an enemy is. Hallelujah. Everybody is aware of who an enemy is. But I realize that most people don't pay attention or they are not even aware of who an avenger is we are all aware of who an enemy is in fact it's a buzzword for an average believer but most people are not really aware or don't pay attention to the operations of an avenger who is an avenger an avenger is a person who inflicts harm in return for injury or wrongdoing an avenger is someone who takes vengeance for any mistake or wrongdoing you either have done in the past or in the present who is an avenger? An avenger is a retaliator. Hallelujah. An avenger is a retaliator for a mistake you have done, either knowingly or unknowingly. Who is an avenger? An avenger is an attacker. Who is an avenger? An avenger is a person who has chosen to be an adversary unto you. Whether you are aware of them or not, it does not matter. It's a separate case entirely. But as far as they are concerned, you've done something wrong and they are bent on retaliating in fact for an avenger until they retaliate they don't rest in fact many avengers are hidden until they perpetuate their evil act you don't get to discover them an enemy can be confrontational they can come and face you in fact some enemy will declare that listen we have sworn enemies at least you know those ones and you can know how to protect yourself or defend yourself or even prepare for fight but an avenger can keep quiet and master you for 20 years all they are doing is strategizing and planning how to carry out their evil enterprise who is an avenger an avenger is an aggressor who is an avenger an avenger is an unknown or unsuspicious enemy in fact i will say this for the lack of use of word an avenger is an advanced or a senior enemy who is an avenger an avenger is a hidden risk who is an avenger an avenger is an unperceived hazard an avenger is one who inflicts pain on another in retaliation i prophesy anyone you have offended and has vowed they won't let go until they retaliate let god arrest their intention let god arrest their intention in the name of jesus every plan of the avenger over your life let it backfire let it backfire let it backfire let it backfire in the name of jesus understand this beloved it is not everybody that can be pacified <laughs> it's not everyone that forgive offenses there are people no matter how much you pacify them there are people no matter how much you beg them they will never take that apology until they carry out vengeance on you they are not satisfied i pray for somebody the person you will offend that will not re that will not receive the apology may you not offend them may you not offend them in the name of jesus and paradventure if you have offended them let the mercy of god set you free let the mercy of god set you free in the name of jesus is a serious matter tonight i'm i'm begging somebody to please pay attention to this serious um, you know short exhortation before we begin to pray some serious and destiny changing prayers herein lies the mystery of the battles of people are fighting there are people that unknowingly to you you have offended them and they have kept that matter to heart to you it is long gone 
but in their mind is as fresh as anything understand this beloved some people can never ever be pacified there are people who not offense of 10 years as though it happened yesterday there are people who still knows the anger and the offense of 30 years as though it still happened yesterday you have done something wrong for them to them and truly you may you may not be aware you did that thing you may not even be aware you offended them perhaps you said something and it really pained them and you know you've forgotten about it it didn't even make a big deal but in their own heart they are still nursing that anger and they are not only nursing it but they are bent on retaliating for the mistake you've done perhaps you are even aware and you've apologized but an avenger does not accept apology apology is never in their dictionary apology is never enough for an avenger for you the matter has been forgotten long ago but an avenger never forgets hear me church let me tell you something when we talk of an avenger they are never in a hurry an avenger is never in a hurry an enemy can be quick and emotional an avenger are, are people you can call green snake under the green grass they are never in a hurry they take their time to carry out their evil enterprise they can wait patiently for 20 years they can wait for 15 years until such a time that you are vulnerable they can wait patiently and quietly to a time of your vulnerability they can wait carefully to the time of your of what the bible call your unguided hour when you least expect they carry out their evil enterprise in second samuel chapter 13 somebody please open your bible we are going somewhere tonight second samuel chapter 13 from verse 23 to 27 we see a very tragic episode recorded in scripture now this is a story of two princes it is not even ordinary people they are two princes you know the story of that young man that slept with his own sister his father's son and when you come to that scripture second samuel 13 from 23 to 27 bible says and it came to pass after two full years that absalom had sheep sharers in bahazor which is beside Ephraim, and absalom invited all the king's sons and Absalom came to the king and said, Behold now, thy servant are sheep sharers. Let the king, I beseech thee, and his servant go with thy servant. 25. And the king said to Absalom, Nay, my son, let us not all now go, lest we be chargeable unto thee. Now watch this. This is Absalom here, the elder brother of a particular lady called Tamar, that is also a son to David. Now Absalom has a stepbrother. His name is Ammon. In earlier chapter, this guy, for a very strange reason, began to have feelings for his, you know, his stepsister. And one of his satanic friends advised him to pretend to be sick, that the lady should bring food unto him. Anyway, to cut the story short, the lady came innocently and she forced her and defiled the lady. And when it was told Tama, I'm sorry, when it was told um, Absalom, he did not say a word. In fact, he did not make a force. He said, it's no big deal after all, they are brothers. He didn't do as if it was any big deal. This is the typical behavior of an avenger. They are never in a hurry. They take their time. By the time you come to the the Bible says, and it came to pass. After two full years, is it in your Bible like that? After two full years, the guy that committed the offense has even forgotten. Perhaps the Bible did not record. Maybe he's even going to apologize to the lady. We did not know. But a person may forget an offense, but an avenger never forget. I prophesy, anyone you have offended and they are bent on revenge mission, by the mercies of God, let their plan be intercepted. Let it be intercepted in the name of Jesus. He says, and the king said unto Absalom, Nay, my son, let us not out all go, lest we be chargeable unto thee. And he pressed him, albeit he would not go, but blessed him. 26, then said Absalom, if not, I pray thee, let my brother Ammon go with me. Can you see this? Hallelujah. Can you see this? Let my brother Ammon go with me. He knew what he wanted to do. He knew his plan for this guy. He knew he had offended him. And he was waiting for such a time when he can take vengeance on this guy. I pray for you once again. Anybody that is bent on taking vengeance against you, let the Lord silence their intention. Let God cancel their intention. In the name of Jesus. Now watch it. 27. And Absalom pressed him that let Ammon and all the king's son go with him. Now Absalom had commanded the servant, saying, Mark ye now, when Absalom, when Ammon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say unto you, smite Ammon, then kill him. Fear not, have I not commanded you? 
be courageous and be valiant and the, uh, and the servant of Absalom did unto Ammon as Absalom had commanded then all the king's sons arose and every man got up upon his move and fled I decree and declare any avenger of your destiny waiting for a day and time to strike you let God intercept them let God intercept them in the name of Jesus every avenger waiting for their time of your vulnerability to strike let God frustrate their intention let God frustrate their intention in the name of Jesus hear me who have you offended and the person is saying over my dead body unless I retaliate I will not rest who have you wronged in the past and they are saying except I take vengeance I will not sleep who have you offended and have even tied themselves with a vow that until they retaliate they will not rest who have you offended and they said they won't let go if they can't get you they will get your children i prophesy let god frustrate their counsel oh let god frustrate their counsel in the name of jesus an avenger is a no nonsense person if they can't get you they will carry out that vendetta on your children your children may be innocent they may not be aware in fact the battle some of us are fighting now it did not start from us it's the battle of an avenger i decree and declare upon everybody listening to me and by extension those that will hear this message later every battle you are fighting now because of the error of your parents let the mercy of god terminate it let the mercy of god terminate it in the name of jesus any avenger or anybody craving for wicked vengeance over your life let it be terminated let it be terminated in the name of jesus lift your hand anywhere you are and cry to the almighty god say oh god arise deliver me from the avenger of my destiny in the name of jesus oh god deliver me from the avenger of my destiny in the name of jesus oh god arise deliver me deliver me from every avenger of my destiny in the mighty name of jesus oh god arise deliver me from every avenger of my destiny in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say mercy of god deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus mercy of god deliver me deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus oh god by your mercy deliver me deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus deliver me oh god deliver me oh god deliver me oh god in the name of jesus deliver me deliver me in jesus mighty name we pray Listen, we need to pray that prayer again. It's a serious battle. The battle of vengeance does not finish on time. Is somebody hearing me? In my local language, they call it Ogun Eson. Ogun Eson, the battle of vengeance. You may not be the one who committed the offense. Sometimes it's you, yes. But there are even some your parents committed. Some is committed by your spouse. And they say, until we take retaliation, we will not stop. I decree and declare every battle of vengeance over your destiny let it scatter by fire let it scatter by fire in the name of jesus lift your voice to god again say mercy of god deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus mercy of god deliver me deliver me deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus mercy of god deliver me from the battle of vengeance in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say all repentant enemy of my destiny be destroyed in the name of jesus every unrepentant enemy of my destiny be destroyed tonight be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus every unrepentant enemy of my destiny be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the name of jesus unrepentant enemy of my destiny be destroyed tonight be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray i prophesy every unrepentant enemy of your destiny let them be destroyed tonight let them be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus every stubborn enemy of your destiny let god silence them tonight let god silence them tonight in the name of jesus listen i know a young man i will not go into details he's from a polygamous home when this young boy was very li when this young man was very little because of the way of the way people grow in africa his mother would tell him be careful when you go to your stepmom and all this and you know children they are innocent anything you tell them registered it registers in their mind and when this guy grew as a young boy you know he still had that mind and one day he was discussing with his cousin hallelujah and he said ah do you know so and so and so she's a witch 
innocently as a young boy for a strange reason nobody knew how the matter God leaked to his stepmother and the stepmother confronted said, you called me a witch the day a young boy knows a witch it is that witch that will kill that boy and the battle went on for so long until such a time that the guy was delivered by God and he became a believer and began to serve God I pray for somebody hearing me in fact it took the power of God to humble this boy's stepmother that today God has disarmed them over that boy if not for the power of God that was brought into the equation they were bent on killing him in the boy narrating the story there were many battles he went through so many different challenge he said if, if I, he said if not for god he would have long been dead i decree and declare every avenger of your destiny let god silent them let god silent them in the name of jesus hear this anybody can be an avenger unto you anybody can be an avenger an avenger can be a friend among your friends might be an avenger among your cousins might be an avenger an avenger can even be in your family an avenger can be somebody from your local church who is saying that until i take my own vengeance i will not stop an avenger is somebody who is bent on making sure they make you cry or pay for the offense you committed an avenger sometimes i know this one is difficult may even be a spouse hallelujah i know that one really really hot and comes as a shock an avenger can be a spouse an avenger does not take pacification until they retaliate they do not rest until they strike they will not settle the battle we are facing some of us are facing right now is the battle of an avenger somebody may be somebody may <laughs> may be your father's enemy some 20 years ago somebody may have a fight with your father 20 years ago or your mother and somebody had a fallout some about over a quarter 10 years ago you were only a little boy or girl. In fact, some of us are not even aware of the fight or we can't really remember anything that happened. And now the person brings that vendetta against you. And sincerely, whichever way you look at it, sometimes our parents may truly be guilty of the offense. But tonight, regardless of the offense, I call on the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of vindicate you. Let the blood vindicate you in the name of Jesus. You see, some of us, even the battle of our foundation is actually fighting right. And what I mean by that is that some of us, the battle, for example, somebody, your mother is the second wife. And the first wife is saying that, except your mother did not come and marry my husband, you will not this, you will not this. If God does not come into the equation with power to deliver, you will truly suffer as though there's no God. Herein lies the mystery of many people. The spirit realm is a very legalistic and legitimate spirit realm. And so when things are brought to, I mean, when warfare has taken against people, there must be a ground to which they can stake that warfare. But there is a mystery that vindicates every true child of God. And that is the mystery of the blood. Everybody hearing me tonight, if your amen can thunder loud over every offense to which you are facing battle, let the blood set you free. Let the blood set you free. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus, every battle you are facing now, let the blood set you free. Let the blood set you free. In the name of jesus in second samuel 21 we see a very powerful episode in scripture i'm going somewhere tonight please get ready to pray some few prayers that we have before we bring this service to a close second samuel 21 from 1 to 7 the bible says during the reign of david there was a famine for three successive years so david saw the face of the lord the lord said it is on account of saul and his blood-stained house it is because he put the Gibeonites to death. Now watch this. Saul reigned over the land for years. He was long gone. And now somebody else is reigning. This is, this is a very powerful one. Herein lies the mystery of some people's battle. That what you even know nothing about. And this man sought the Lord. And God said it's on account of Saul and his blood stained out. It is because he put to death the Gibeonites. And verse 2 says, and the king summoned the Gibeonites and spoke to them. Now, the Gibeonites were not a part of Israel, but were survivors of the Amorites. The Israelites had sworn to spare them. But Saul, in his zeal for Israel and Judah, had tried to annihilate them. 3. David asked the Gibeonites, what shall I do for you? How shall I make atonement so that you will bless the Lord's inheritance? Now, don't forget... This is the Lord's inheritance. 
But because of a battle that these people does not even know about, it brought the nation to a standstill. The Bible says for three years, it was not raining in the land. I speak into somebody's life. Every battle you are fighting and you know nothing about, let mercy speak for you. Let mercy speak for you. Let mercy speak for you. In the name of Jesus. What shall I do for you? How shall I make atonement so that you will bless the Lord's inheritance? Verse 4, the Gibeonites answered him, We shall have no right to demand silver or gold from Saul or his family, nor do we have the right to put anyone in Israel to death. Now watch this. What do you want me to do for you then? David asked. 5, they answered the king, As for the man who destroyed us and plotted against us, so that we have been demisited and have no place anywhere in Israel, let seven of his male descendants be given to us to be killed and their body exposed before the Lord at Gibeah of Saul, the Lord had chosen one. So King David said, I will give them to you. Now watch this. Imagine somebody had vendetta against your father 15 years ago. You were innocent. You didn't even know anything. And they show up many years later and they say you must pay. And for that singular reason, an, an avenger does not forget. It does not matter how many years. Now, pay attention to scripture. This was not something that happened within a year or two. It was not a matter of five, seven years. It was a very long time. There was interval between this episode in scripture. But an avenger does not take pacification. They said, just give us seven. They didn't even say one. They didn't say two. They said, give us seven of the sons of the man. They didn't say of anybody, of the sons of the man that has tried to put us to death. And for that singular reason, all the innocent children were arrayed for execution after many years, despite being innocent. That is the way an avenger operates. Every battle ravaging your life because of the errors of your parents. Tonight, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated in the name of Jesus. Can you pray this way loud and clear? Say, any power that is attacking me because of the error of my parents, I destroy your influence on my life in the name of Jesus. Any power attacking me because of the errors of my parents, I destroy your influence over my life in the name of Jesus. I destroy your influence. I destroy your influence in the name of Jesus. Every power attacking me because of the mistake of my parents, I destroy your influence over my life in the name of Jesus. I destroy your influence. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Every power attacking my destiny. I destroy your influence in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to pray that prayer again. It's a serious prayer. Every parent hearing me, pray that prayer for your children. Say, in the name of Jesus, any power attacking my children because of my mistake, I destroy your influence over their life. In the name of Jesus, I destroy your influence. I destroy your influence. In the name of Jesus, any power attacking me because of the mistake of my parents, I destroy your influence over my life. In the name of Jesus, you parent pray for your children. Any power attacking my children because of my past mistake, I destroy your influence over their life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, battle of vengeance ravaging my life, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle of vengeance ravaging my life, scattered by fire, scattered by fire, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle of vengeance ravaging my life, scattered to desolation, scattered to desolation in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I, I heard a story many years ago. Hallelujah. And the particular man was a young catechist in a particular denomination in Nigeria, my country. When he was a young catechist in CAC, they said they had this particular boss who was very, who was very vicious and very terrible, who would maltreat him. And the man in question went through a lot, you know, and he said one day he prayed that, God, and this man has six children, and he said, God, call his children into ministry so that they can come and suffer everything their father made them to suffer. <laughs> and all the six children got educated, went to the best of schools, they started ministry. Those that were doing their career, they were doing their career. None of them had a breakthrough in life. None of them made headway. Their life was all over the place. It was in the course of praying that one of them went to go and tarry before God and cry to God that God, why is everything like this? The least educated among us has at least a first degree with very good results. Why is everything like this? 
and God revealed the cost to the man. And he went to this great servant of God. He's, he's going to be with the Lord now. And he said, Ah, your father, I placed the cost on you people because I wanted him to pay. And he said, Kneel down. He prayed for that guy and said, From today you are free. Only you. The remaining five are still under the cost until they come to realize what you have realized. I pray for somebody hearing me. If your amen can thunder loud, every part that says, I will take vengeance of your parents over your life. Let God destroy them tonight. Let God destroy them tonight. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice with the Almighty God. Say, battle of vengeance ravaging my life. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every battle of vengeance ravaging my life. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every battle of vengeance ravaging my ministry. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say from battles facing me that I know nothing about. Mercy of God set me free in the name of Jesus. From every battle facing me and I know nothing about. Mercy of God set me free. Set me free. Set me free in the name of Jesus. From the battles I'm facing that I know nothing about. Mercy of God set me free. Set me free. Set me free tonight in the name of Jesus. Every battle facing me that I know nothing about. Mercy of God set me free in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice to God and cry for mercy. The Bible says mercy triumphs over judgment in the name of Jesus. Every battle I'm facing that I know nothing about. Mercy of God set me free. Set me free tonight. Set me free tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The avenger. The enemy and the avenger. I'm just touching on the Avenger tonight. I'm not even talking about the enemy yet. Because that one's another dimension entirely. Listen. Be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you react to matters. Because in the future, your children may come back to pay. Oh yes. An Avenger never forgets. In my language, there's an adage that says, a meal of 20 years ago, <laughs> a meal prepared 20 years ago, can be as hot as though it's freshly made. Now, it's a metaphor to denote that matters of 20 years, if revisited, can be as boiling hot in people's hearts as though it just happened. Beloved, an avenger is worse than an enemy. <laughs> an avenger is worse than an enemy. An enemy can declare themselves to you or get confrontational. But most often, avenger does not. They keep quiet and they keep strategizing. An enemy can be pacified either through peace offering or sacrifice and the likes oh yes but an avenger they are never in a hurry they patiently observe their victim and attack him or her where they are not likely to escape the enemy may attack you randomly but an avenger attacks with intention and they attack calculatedly unfortunately most often the attacks lead to death because an avenger does not attack to inflict injury alone. They attack to finish. That's who an avenger is. An avenger is an obstinate fighter. They don't give up except the power of God is involved. In fact, it is the power of God that can, that can humble an avenger. He says that as, as ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. In Psalm 66, verse 3, the Bible says, Say unto the Lord, How terrible art thou in thy works? Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit to thee. It is the power of God that can humble or curtail an avenger. They are not easy to pacify. They are obstinate fighters. They are wicked people. They can't be begged. They don't take apology. They can't be appeased. The only language they understand is power. And the only thing they respect is violence. I decree and declare, everyone who has made himself an avenger over your life, let the Lord silence them. Let the Lord disgrace them. In the name of Jesus, every avenger of your destiny, if you can thunder a loud amen, let the Lord disarm them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Our time is going fast. Let me show you one more scripture and we'll round up. The enemy and the avenger. The enemy and the avenger. Many times when we do things, we may not really pay attention. An avenger can be a friend. And they'll be telling you, you said this. 
I have problem people that try to visit matter of years again and again. It's a sign that there's a wound in their soul. It's difficult to accept. The visit matter of yesterday years as though it just happened. It's a big problem. An avenger never forgets. Let me show you one more scripture, beloved, and we'll round up. We are human beings. Of course, we can offend ourselves. But according to the standard of God, you see, it, it's normal for people to offend themselves. If a Bible says offenses cannot but come. And so it's important that when we offend ourselves under the atmosphere and, you know, under, in, 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 under the atmosphere of God and as a family of, of God, once we apologize sincerely, it should settle it. But for an avenger, it does not work like that. For an avenger, until they make sure they retaliate, they don't rest. Second Samuel 21. Second Samuel 21, very quickly. Please open your Bible to Second Samuel 21. From verse 15 to 17. Now watch this. I'm trying to make you see that even scripturally, from biblical standpoint, an avenger is somebody who is never in a hurry. They can wait almost a decade to retaliate. Second Samuel 21, from 15 to 17. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. And David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines. And David waxed faint. Now, you see, tiredness is a natural phenomenon. Even as you get older, the chances are that you may not be as valiant as you used to be when you were small. The other day, I was trying to go into the loft and I was struggling. And I said, My wife, what's going on? I think I'm. They said, No, you're not tired. You're getting old. Come down. Let's your son go there you, you you are not like in your 30s where you just jump into the loft so tiredness sometimes is a natural phenomenon as you get older certain things you may not be like that and this time david was getting old he was not a young valiant guy like before so bible says david went with them and waxed faint to all intent and purpose whether it was the issue of age or was just tired the bible says he waxed faint and each pin up which was of the sons of the giant the weight of whose pair weighed 300 shekels of brass in weight. He being guarded with a new sword. Bible didn't say a sword. He didn't say an old sword. A new sword. <laughs> Thought to slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, succored him and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swore unto him, saying, Thou shalt not go any more with us to battle, that thou quenchest not the light of Israel. I pray for somebody hearing me. Your light will not be put out. Oh, your light will not be put out. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not put out your light. An avenger will not put out your light. In the name of Jesus. You can be the mouthpiece of God among the people. You can be the mouthpiece of God in a territory. So David in scripture here was referred to as the light of Israel. They said that thou quenchest not the light of Israel. I prophesy, your light will not be put out. Your light will not be put out. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The sun of your destiny will not set suddenly. The sun of your glory will not set suddenly. In the name of Jesus, every effort of the avenger over your life shall end in futility, shall end in frustration. In the name of Jesus, every effort of the avenger against your glory and destiny shall end in frustration. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to the Almighty God. Say, Oh God, arise, scatter the plan of the enemy concerning my life. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, scatter the plan of the enemy concerning my life. Scatter the plan of the avenger concerning my life. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, Scatter the plan of the enemy concerning my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise tonight. Scatter the plan of the avenger concerning my destiny in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Watch this, beloved. This guy, Ish Benob. The Bible said David waxed faint and one of the sons of the giants wanted to kill him. Now this tells me that even the anointed can be killed, but not going there today. Oh yes, the anointed can be killed. Don't just get vulnerable. The enemy will take advantage of you. Simple. And so in 1 Samuel 17, 1 to 25, David, you know the story very well. He, he was the target here because this guy was the one that killed Goliath. Even though it was many years ago, but the story did not die in their heart. They were still bent on vengeance. And now, so the battle was going on. The Bible said this guy, this particular guy 
Ishbenob was one of the sons of the giants. He was targeting David. This is an avenger. He didn't face any other person. He has heard the story. This guy killed my uncle. I will make a name of you. I will make sure I retaliate. In fact, after the time David killed Goliath, there has been alliance between the Philistines and David after that time. If you study scripture very well, it's not as if he's always been fight, fight, fight. Although they were enemies, you know, from the Bible days. But this particular guy was still bent on vengeance. He did not target any other person. His that guy was David. That you, you killed my uncle or brother. I will make a name of you by ensuring I kill you in return. This is who an avenger is. I prophesy. Any power that wants to kill you before your time, let that power be wasted by fire. Let it be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, any power that is bent on sending you to your early grave, let the Lord send them to the grave. Let God send them to the grave. In the name of Jesus, anybody planning a revenge mission against your life, in the name above every other name, let their plan fall upon their head. Let their plan fall upon their head. In the name of Jesus, anybody planning revenge against your marriage, against your ministry, against your career, let their plan fall upon their head. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to the Almighty God. Say, Oh God, arise, prostrate the effort of the avenger over my life. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, prostrate the effort of the avenger over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, prostrate the effort of the avenger against my life. In the name of Jesus, Prostrate them, O oh God. Prostrate them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Prostrate the effort of the avenger over my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm going to stop there. Our time is fast. Listen, one of the ways the Lord created a defense mechanism for a believer is to raise men or create men around you. Get my message on the importance of men. Relationship is a currency. These men were willing to die for David. He said, henceforth, you shall not go to war with us, that thou puttest out not the light of Israel. I decree and declare, if you can say loud, amen, your light will not be put out. You will not die before your time. In the mighty name of Jesus, who have you offended? And he's saying that if I don't take vengeance, I will not stop. Who have you offended? And they are saying that if I don't get you, I will get your children. Let the Lord arise and intercept their plan. Let God frustrate their plan. Let God frustrate their plan. In the name of Jesus, every intention of the wicked over your life, let it backfire upon their head. Let it backfire upon their head. In the mighty name of Jesus, every error of the past, causing wickedness and battle in your, in your presence. Let the Lord arise and terminate that mistake. In the name of Jesus, every effect of your past error over your destiny, let God terminate it. Let God terminate it. In the name of Jesus, anything you've done in the past that is now bringing battle to your presence, let the mercy of God silence that battle. Let the mercy of God stop that battle. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to God one more time. Say, oh God, arise, deliver me from every avenger of my destiny. In the name of Jesus, oh God, deliver me from every known and unknown avenger. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, deliver me from every avenger of my destiny. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray thank you Jesus I pray for you in the name of Jesus you will not fall victim of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus every expectation of the wicked over your life we cancel it today we cancel it today in the name of Jesus every power monitoring you're going out and you're coming in and waiting for a time to attack you I decree as an apostle of the living God let the Lord destroy that power let God destroy that power in the name of Jesus everybody monitoring you every monitoring agent that is monitoring you're going out and coming in and giving a feedback in satanic kingdom let God blindfold them in the name of Jesus I decree and declare any power that is bent on revenge mission against you let God arise and disgrace them let God arise and disgrace them in the name of Jesus the plan of the enemy over your life shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus every of their effort shall end in futility in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray praise the living Jesus God bless you everyone thank you very much 
um, for joining this broadcast. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are joining this broadcast for the very first time, I want to specially welcome you to our midst. This is Water Life Mission and Ministries International. You are powerfully welcome in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. We trust God you've been blessed tonight. And we really hope that we'll see you again in our midst. Again and again and again. Until you become a part of the family. God bless you powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus. This program runs every Friday from 8 p.m. in the evening to 9 p.m. for just one hour. So please do well to be a part of it. And the Lord bless you even as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, every Monday, the women normally have their meetings from 7 p.m. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Galaxy Jesus. Thank you. Whoever that is. From 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, please, every woman, I want to encourage you to please do well to join um, the, the women um, prayer meeting on Mondays. The Lord bless you, even as you do so in Jesus' name. Let's package our offering very quickly while I run through the remaining of the announcement. If you live within the Medway area, I want to invite you to our Sunday glorious service from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for just two hours. And the venue for that is um, Hilltop Primary School Hall, Hilltop Road, Frinsbury, Rochester. Hilltop Primary School Hall, Hilltop Road, Frinsbury, Rochester. Amen. Thank you very much. Whoever that person is, Tayola. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Hilltop Primary School or Hilltop, um, Frisbury, Rochester, ME2 4QN. From 11 a.m. in the morning to 1 p.m. in the afternoon. You'll be powerfully blessed. If you live within the circumference of the M25, uh, Maystone, Sittingbourne, Faversham, Gravesend, Epsfleet, Northfleet, Dartford, even Croydon. We we'll love to have you in our midst. The Lord bless you even as you turn up in the mighty name of Jesus. We have a program coming up 27th of this month. I want to invite every parent to please be a part of that program. You will be powerfully blessed. We've had the first session of the Series 1. This is a Series 2. We were mightily blessed. And we're having the guest speaker again for 27th of this month on Saturday. So it's a Saturday. So you actually, um, it's going to be a weekend, so you have no excuse, basically. So please do well to join that program. It's online. The, the, the link will be posted um, in the chat box um, as I speak. And, of course, on the platform as well, from 12 in the afternoon to 3 p.m. It's just a three hours or two hours, two hours program. You will be powerfully blessed in the name of Jesus. The last Sunday of this month, I want to invite you all to a special program we have. It's called Sacrifice of Praise. Sacrifice of Praise is a mandate that God has given us for this year. And every, every last Sunday of the month, we, we are praising God. This month, we are having um, a, a very powerful minister of God um, come to, to minister for us. He's a popular young man. Um, he's popularly known as Omoara. And he'll be ministering for us this, son this, um, sorry, this last Sunday of the month. Olaiton Akomu is his name, but he's popularly known as Omoara. Please don't miss it for anything. You'll be powerfully blessed in the name of Jesus. Um, every other announcement will be communicated in the course of the week and um you know we can post it on the platform for for you to be um, updated if you're not on our platform yet please do well to um, put your number in the chat box and we can add you onto the platform so that i can have a real-time information regarding our programs and, and regarding the ministry the lord bless you as you do so in jesus name. i decree and declare that even as you go into this weekend the lord go with you in the mighty name of jesus i pray for everybody that have given to us um you know they are, they are offering that god will bless your process in the name of jesus I decree that you will never know lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that want to give but does not have, that God will bless your pocket. And next time you also be a giver in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray for you as you go into this weekend. Lord, go with you in Jesus' name. May he cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. Every of your expectation and righteousness, this weekend the Lord deliver them to your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will 